Hey, look, 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 here we go. <gasps> happy Saturday! Hey, can you say happy Saturday? Okay. Happy Saturday! Maya, right happy here. Saturday! Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy. Let's see, who can we say hi to? Can we say hi, Tammy? Hi, Charlotte? Hey, hey, uh-uh, no. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Laura. Okay, buddy, you can go with Daddy then. <laughs> Having a morning over here. Jeanette in New York City. Lori, Catherine, Wendy. Yay! Hi, guys. Heather. Uh, I'm Amy, and today we are going to do Dumbbell Tone and Sculpt. So May Muscle Tone and Sculpt is our theme in the Body Fit Athletic Club. I'm going to talk more about that at the end. But today we're working with dumbbells. If you don't have a dumbbell, use a kettlebell or just move your body. There we go. Come here. Come here. Um, hey, Lori. Nicole is here. Catherine, Lisa, Melanie. Yay. I see a lot of my Body Fit Athletic Clubbers. Maria, Elizabeth, Simone, yay, Jill is here. Hey guys, come here. Do you want to say hi to people? Anyway, all right. All right, guys, so can you get ready to go with Daddy? What were we going to say at the end? What were we going to say at the end? <gasps> Happy Mother's Day tomorrow Happy to Mother's all the mommies Day in the tomorrow. group. Okay, okay, you can go with Daddy. Okay, bye, guys. Okay, we're really into saying poopies lately. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm sure some of you with toddlers can relate. That's all we want to say. And we're potty training, so that's why. Hey, Christy, Amanda, Carrie, and Jeff. Yay. Awesome, guys. Susie, Wendy, awesome. All right, team. So, Rachel is here with Julia, who is almost seven. Oh, you're going to bake cookies after that. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yay. All right, guys. So, we're going to get started in just a second. Make sure that you have some dumbbells close by. So, today, tone and sculpt. We are going to be working with weights. We're going to get, obviously, full body strength and cardio like we always do. What we're gonna do that's a little bit different is often when we do a toning workout or a, or a burn or a burner workout, we start with the regular full range of motion and then we go to some pulses and some smaller movements. We're actually gonna do the opposite. We're gonna start with the smaller and then go to full range of motion. So if you have something a little lighter, I still want you to go heavier, but probably lighter will be your earlier set and then going to heavier. Try to uh, work heavy the whole time if you can. You know, I will always encourage you to go heavier, heavier weights, burn more calories. That's where we really see results. So work hard, work to your level, be where you are today. But if you have some options of different weights, keep them close by. Hey, Sarah is here, yay. Cynthia, awesome. Yay, from the Bay Area, Manisha, hi. Tanisha is here too, yay! All right guys, so we're gonna get started. Make sure you have some space. Make sure you have some water. I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip because I haven't had enough today. You may notice I am wearing this outfit. A lot of you have uh, noticed and seen that I did a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods Mother's Day commercial <laughs> that is airing right now and um, this is my outfit from it. So I thought that I would wear it today for our Mother's Day Live. All right, guys, so check it out if you haven't already. It's on YouTube, but you may have also seen it on TV. That was me doing the yoga in this outfit with other moms. <laughs> hey, Lindsay, hey, Liz, awesome. Taryn is here, seven months postpartum. Yay, congrats, mama. Okay, all right, guys, so let me get my timer going. So as always, at the end of these lives, <clears throat> I take a few minutes and I answer any questions you have or I'll say hi. So if you have time to hang out for five or 10 minutes after, if you have any questions for me, I'll also talk about Body Fit Athletic Club and other things that we have coming up. <coughs> oh, excuse me, talking too much already today. All right guys, let's go ahead and just start moving, marching, jogging, whatever is good for you, go ahead and shake it out. Whew, roll those shoulders. Yay, Jill, Linda, Lori is here. Whoo! Yeah, Liz, didn't know about this. Already did your workout. That's okay. So we um, do this most Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time, but these workouts do stay up, so you can do them at any time. I know for some of you, and if it's later in the day, it's a little harder to get it in. So take it out. 
breathe, open those arms. Let's add a little lateral side lunge. Here we go. Stretch it out. Yay, Rosemary came on to do a video and stumbled onto the live. Join us. We always have a good time and then we hang out at the end. I think you guys are gonna like this format today, I hope. Just always trying to mix it up for you. Let's go up and down. Little hinge in the hips so we get that stretch through the back of the legs and big arm swings. And then let's warm it up through our back. So reaching down, reaching up, stay here. And then if you can, walk it out to that inchworm. Good warm up through the spine. And then we also get those abs firing and ready to work as well. So remember with these dynamic warm-ups, our goal is to get movement prep Whew. and get our bodies ready to move. One more, here to here, core engaged and back. Roll through your back, flat down, round it up. Whew. I filmed a new workout that is a bar workout yesterday and I am feeling it today. Take it here. Roll those shoulders and breathe. Round it up. Tap and reach across. All right, so dumbbell, tone and sculpt. Full body as usual. Strength and cardio, mobility, flexibility as usual. Getting it all in. But we're gonna be working with some smaller movements, some more I hesitate to always say, oh, this is toning, this is strengthening, because they're, they're all toning and strengthening, right? But more what we think of, those smaller movements, some pulses, some holds, some things, we're starting with that, and then we go into our full range of motion to finish it. So if you need to switch lighter to heavier, that's always an option. But again, I always say start with the heavier, see how you feel, see what you can do and then we go from there. We're gonna work hard, we're gonna move fast, but as always, I will give you options. I want you to be where you are today, work to your level. I want you to feel challenged. I want you to push yourself, but in a way that's good for you. So don't feel like you have to do exactly what I'm doing or anybody else, as long as you're safe, as long as you're moving, that is all that matters. If you showed up today, you, are successful. You know it, I say it every time, but I'm always gonna remind you, it is all about showing up and moving our bodies, right? So remember that. All right, how do we feel? Go ahead and shake it out. I want you to grab one dumbbell. You can probably go medium to heavy on this. So we're on one side, it's gonna pull you a little bit, so a little anti-core work where we're having to stabilize. We're gonna start, we're gonna squat it down three, two, one, we're gonna bring it up, rest this weight here, pulse three, two, one. You can tap it down in between if you need to, or you can stay off the ground. What I don't want you to do is to lean into it. Halfway through, we're going to bring it up to a curl, right? A curl or a little clean. We'll get both sides. I don't want you to worry about the clock, so just follow me. Zip up in that core, shoulders back, Squat it down, here we go. Three, two, one, bring it up. Pulse three, two, one, drop it low. Three, weight in your heels. So even though we're pulsing, I still want you to get low. So really get down there, drop those hips, and then ground yourself in that stationary leg. As we lift through the hip, little weight if you can, for the hip outer thighs. Watch me, up, three, two, one, down, three, two, one, up, yes, and bring it here, three, two, one. I'm just using this hands for hand for balance, can't talk today, and three, two, one, bring it up, yes. We're gonna go four more just like this. 
curl it or clean it. Your clean just is a little more power, right? Looks like this. Good. Two more. Breathe. Last one right here. Stay with me. Up and relax. Little tap, we're gonna do all of that on the other side. So just switch that hand to the other side. So a couple of questions. Somebody's asking about the bar, what I just mentioned. It, I just filmed it, it hasn't been released yet. It'll go to the Body Fit Athletic Club first. It will be released later, but I do have other bar workouts. Just search Body Fit by Amy Bar. All right, guys, zip it up. Here we go. Squat it down. Three, two, one, up. Flex that foot. Three, two, one. Other side, really think about the hip outer thighs. And again, we're trying to stay steady. If you need to tap it down in between, that works. Or stay off the ground. We're trying not to lean, right? Bring it up. I know, we're feeling it. Keeping that heart pumping, right? Curl or clean and then drop it down against the leg. Yes. There we go. Ah, balance. Can feel myself wanting to lean. So you can also, if you need to, grab onto the wall to make sure that you're not leaning. Four more. Get low. Yes. Three. Weight in the heels. And then stabilizing that stationary leg as you come up. Good. Ah. Last one. Bring it up. All right, team, here's what we're gonna do. Grab your other dumbbell to match that one. If you got a kettlebell, you're gonna put it between the two. We're gonna take it with a curl. So we're gonna curl three, two, one, all the way up. Three, two, one one all the way down halfway with your pulse then up halfway with your pulse then down right burn three two one i'm doing hammer but now let's switch it to regular right here palms up pulse all the way up pulse in the center all the way down if you feel like you're getting into your back Put one foot back. It's gonna give you that balance. Two more. Yes. Woo! Last one. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Good, relax. All right, now that we've gotten all of that, guys, I know, these are long sets, but then once we're done with it, we will be done with it. All right, now we're just doing a regular curl into a squat halfway through halfway through if you want to turn it into that clean i'll talk you through it if you've never done one just keep the curl all right team full range of motion regular movement if you want to go heavier go heavier let's push hard for sculpting for toning and for cardio here we go so curl let's go hammer first drop it down up and up curl and rack drop down up and up, nice, slow and controlled. Sit low and breathe. Curl, drop, keep that going just with the curl into the squat. If you're familiar with how to do a clean and you wanna add it, it's a little more power, right? Hips go back, you get a little momentum, so You'll feel it more in the biceps if you keep the curl a little more full body if you do the clean. Up and down and breathe. Yes. Can we get two more? Last one. Good. And relax. All right, team. Give your hands a break. Stretch it back, little taps. So recently I've been putting these little cardio mobility 
to get keep the heart pumping but where we get a stretch through what we just worked so let's do that here hands out stretch out thumbs to the back so we're stretching through the biceps if you want to take it a little hop step you can do that too and then we're going to grab some water we're going to get some core so there you go team it's a long set starting with the smaller movements and then taking it take it behind little taps and then taking it to the full range of motion but once we're done with it we're done with it here we go four eight seven six five four three two relax all right guys grab a quick sip of water Woo. hopefully you're feeling all that if it felt too easy and you have heavier weights go a little heavier if you don't have heavier weights focus on your form pick up your pace a bit while keeping good form all of those are options all right team let's take it down for a little core so on your side to your back if you need to modify pre post dr healing the dice dice recti wherever you are we're just going to take it with just some little knee raises here to here and we're just going to go arms to here arms to here right so you're not lifting and getting that crunch everybody else let's go dead bug we're going to start small just tap and reach warming up through the spine deep core work i want you to think about bringing your hips together your ribs together and everything towards the navel while we lift up on the pelvic floor then as you're ready extend it out right bring everything in to close so we're gonna build on this all together so here's your basic core will work a little differently because we're not adding the weights can you get a little lower down and out breathe good hold in the center at tabletop if you're modifying your your progression is going to be bridge knee and down bridge knee and down if you're all the way up we're going to go here we're going to push here to here so push your hand into your leg leg into your hand and extend with the other leg and arm try to lift the shoulders if you can four these are pushing against each other three two really reach that arm back to get that shoulder mobility switch it push and push back for eight close the core seven as you're getting tired make sure you're pulling up and in yes breathe four more four don't forget to push against that hand against that leg two one relax bring it up slowly nice work team we're gonna grab our weights again so heavy to medium we're working side lunge into row so starting with some pulses so you might want to go medium but you can probably still keep it heavy all right so watch me first while you're grabbing your weights we're gonna do those pulses again we're gonna pulse for three into the side lunge we're gonna step it in pulse for three with our row drop it down bring it up pulse for three step it in pulse for three shoulder blades we'll alternate with our side lunge so nothing should get too fatigued and then we will put them all together full range of motion right so roll those shoulders back zip up in that core alternating side to side with that pulse row in the middle here we go pulse into the hip three two one step it in stay low three two one drop it out three two one stay low when you first come in and then once you finish that row all the way up three two into the hip step in stay low pulse shoulder blades and back and up three two whoo yes shoulder blades really pull those elbows up high then lengthen so you're pushing out of the hip on that pulse then push through and then pull those shoulder blades in and then all the way up pulse 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 squeeze squeeze can you get a little lower in the hip probably right 
Squeeze. Can you bring those elbows up behind? Yes. Good. One more each side all the way through. And breathe. Last one. Good. Watch me here. We're going to rotate it down and pull it up. Stay low. Down and up. Just simple. Four more. Really get low. Rotate through those wrists. Squeeze in the shoulder blades. Three. Two. One more. Good. Round it all the way up. Little tap it out. We're going to put it all the way through, but we're going to go eight on the right side, eight on the left, and we're going to switch it. We're going to row at the bottom. So watch me here one time. We're stepping it in, row it in all the way through, all on the same side for eight. Then we switch it. Let's really push that heart rate. If you want to go to heavier weights, you can, if you've got them, heart rate, sculpting, muscles. Here we go. Down, row, push out. No more pulsing, full range of motion. Elbows up, get wide, get low, shift your weight to the side. Elbows up, squeeze, push out of that hip. Really push through that flexibility. A lot of times getting low in that side lunge is hip flexibility. We want, really wanna shift our weight. Good. One more. Can we switch? Other side, here we go. Down, row, and up. If you wanna make it challenging, take it with that wide row, but keep the same. Squeeze in the shoulder blades. Four more. That feels like too much. Keep it right in the center, elbows up. Three more, three. Good, last two. One more. And relax. Good work, team. Weights go down to shake that out. Watch me here. Reach through. Reach through. A little cardio mobility before we go to some core. Reach. Stretch that hand up. Little shuffle. You can go low impact or high. Yes. You guys, we are already halfway through this workout. I don't know if you noticed that. It's going to move quickly. That first round was long. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax. Ha. Ah. All right, team. Down into a plank position. Catch your breath, right? So we may need it. Focus on that breathing. Hmm. All right, guys, plank singles. So if you are pregnant, I want you to stay here and we're just going to breathe. Inhale, expand, exhale, lift up. If you are early post or DR, you're probably fine to do these plank singles, but I want you to only lift to your knees. All right, guys? So we're here. Big inhale, expand, exhale, lift to the knees. And then if you're able, lift to the toes. Slowly down, slowly down. Join me. Inhale, exhale, lift. Exhale, lift. So sometimes you guys tell me you can't feel these as much. If you're doing it right, you should feel it even more. The idea is that coming into the plank, we're not able to just push up through our toes and our elbows and use our legs and glutes. Even though they're working, even though they're connecting, what is lifting you into that plank is straight up core. So think about everything coming in, everything lifting up. So we're gonna keep going with that. I want you to really take your time. Try not to push through the elbows. Try not to push through the toes. Keep it all in the core. Again, modification, just go up to the knees or stay on all fours. Keep it going. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> One more. 
Good. So now everybody bring it up to that plank and hold. If you're modifying on all fours, I just want you to hold that contraction, but not hold your breath. And we're going to lift up to a little pike. So we're going up. We're dropping it down. We're lifting up. Feel the stretch. But again, I want you to think that your core is lifting. If you're on all fours, I just want you to round up in a little cat and roll through. Cat to cow and breathe. Great modification where you get the stretch for the back. Right, keep it going. Good. Four, slowly down, yes. Three, two, last one. Relax, stretch it back. Come back onto your feet, guys. We are so close. Woo, two, taking it down to the mat for good. All right, guys, so here we go. I want you to grab one heavy weight. One heavy weight if you got it. If you got two lighter ones, keep two lighter ones. We're gonna hold it down in the center. Watch me first. All lower body, not compound yet. We're gonna be out in the plie. You're gonna rotate into the transverse. Plie, transverse. We're gonna stay low the entire time. We'll make it quick, I promise. And then we're gonna take it into some press and some triceps with some pulses. Then we'll put it all together. If you don't have a good floor or you feel like that's not good for your knee, you can move your feet in between. Don't feel like you have to actually pivot. You can move your feet or you can just stay just in a plie, right? All right, guys, so stay low. Wait here or wait here, whatever feels better. Here we go. Low, pivot transverse. Plie, transverse. Keep that core engaged. Keep that good posture. As we get tired, we're gonna wanna go here, but really pull it here. Yes, stay low. Center. I know it's tempting to come all the way up, but try to stay down there if you can. If it feels better to have the weight here, have the weight here. Here we go. Eight, and in seven oh yes six stay with me five burn four yes three too slow right i know two one more relax right hang on to that one weight if you can we're gonna press it up we're gonna go behind our head three two one, all the way down, up and over. Three, two, one, up and over. Weight behind your head and breathe. Pulses at the bottom. So what I mean by guys, by that is try not to pulse right here. If you can, keep those elbows in, really get low and keep that pulse at that lowest point. So we really get through the triceps. <sighs> Breathe. Pulse, pulse. <sighs> Four more. You can do it. Four. Elbows in. As they get tired, they're going to want to go out here. Keep them in. Right? Last two. <sighs> One more. Yes. <sighs> Relax. Give your hands a little break. Get a little stretch up through here. We're gonna put them all together, and then guess what, guys? We're moving it down to the mat after this, all right? So, really push through. We're getting low. We're going just your plie all the way up into tries, all the way down, all right? You can do it. Stay with me. Here we go. Take it down, up, behind your head. Get power from that squat. Feels better, right? <laughs> to be able to come out of that squat. Good. Breathe. Elbows behind. Again, try to get full range of motion. So you're low on that plie. All the way up behind your head. Try not to arch your back there, right? Pull that core in, tuck under. Breathe. Yes. Three. 
two. Last one. Relax. Good work, team. All right, weight out of the way. Let's shake out those arms. And guess what, team? You know what we haven't done today? Any regular lunges. So for our cardio mobility, let's lunge it down. Let's do a big reach up. So stretch through the arms, stretch through that hip. If that doesn't feel good for you to get all the way down, just open up the hip. Here we go. Breathe. Then we got some core. Then we got one last thing down on the mat. We are so close, guys. If you want to make it a little more of a cardio, you can jump it. It's up to you. But I want you to get that hip opener, and I want you to really reach up so we stretch out through the arms. We want the mobility as well, but you can get the extra cardio with the jump. If you want, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Grab some water. I don't know about you guys, but man, this is flying by. Eight minutes left. Hopefully you're feeling it everywhere, but hopefully it feels like it's going quick. All right, so down on your back. We're gonna be coming into a bridge, so this should be good for everybody. But of course, if you're in my pre-post ER and it doesn't feel good, take a little stretch break. All right, team, so we're here with those weights. All right, we're gonna take it here. We're gonna pulse at the bottom, pulse with our chest press, pulse with our glutes. So three, two, one, three, two, one. Join me here. You can add a little pulse with the glutes at the bottom or you can keep them totally separate. So totally separate would be pulse with the arms, up, pulse with the glutes and the legs, or pulse with both, and up. If you need to, you can always just do one or the other. Keep it going. Breathe. I know we're getting those hamstrings. Don't worry. We're going to get that stretch with some core in a minute. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Up, up, up. Yes. Let's go four. And breathe. Three. And up. Two. Last one and relax. All right, give yourself a little break. We're gonna come back to that in a second. Modification, we're just gonna get that stretch, open the arms, stretch the legs. Open the arms, stretch the legs, right? Big open, grab, open. If you can, breathe. So we get the scissors, we're getting that hamstring stretch. You know I like to put this after the bridge because we really work those hamstrings and glutes. And then after that chest press, open, stretch the leg. Open, stretch the leg. And if you can, work that core in the process, right? Breathe. Last two. One more. And relax. Roll to your side. Breathe for just a second. We're going to put them all together. So chest press and bridge and then we'll go back to those scissors. Take a little breather if you need to. Bring it back five minutes to go, guys. So close, ready, here we go. Up and in, up and down. Big press all the way through. If you want a little variety, turn those palms in at the top. So you're just coming facing each other as you lift in that bridge. So all through the chest and shoulders and triceps, and then glutes, hamstrings, and core. Keep it up, we're so close. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep lifting high with the hips. I know they're tired. Three, two, one. Relax, weights over to the side. Again, you can just get that stretch without the core here to here, or take it here and out here. <sighs> Breathe. Yes. Huh. Big stretch. 
And if you want, guys, take it bicycle scissors, slow and controlled, but opposite elbow, keep that flex of the foot at the top so you can still get that stretch. Yes. Four more, stay with me. Four, three, two, one. Relax, hug it in. Woo. Fold it over, big stretch. All right, team, let's stay down here. Turn to your side. All right, so on your knees or on your toes, side plank, have a weight close by if you want. All right, guys, so lift it up. We're gonna pulse it. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one. Join me if you haven't already. You can be on the knees too. Big stretch. Three, two, one one four more right here three two one big reach last two one more yes relax good breathe all right guys so turn into your mat you can be on all fours we're just gonna lift and rotate or lift and rotate. Join me here. So knees, you can still get it all in. Knees, or here, up, up. Four more, breathe. Try not to rush that row all the way through. Last two. One more, yes, relax. Swing those legs around to that other side, have that weight close by. But starting with the pulses, we're gonna drop it down. You can do whatever you want with your arms. I like to either touch it down to get that big stretch or reach it down, reach it over, just for mobility. But if you need that, that stability here, just make sure you're not leaning into it. Up on the hips, I mean up on the feet or the knee. Pulse it, here we go, down, three, two, one, and reach, three, two, one, reach. <sighs> Big stretch, knee is fine too, you're still gonna get the work, right, down, down, and lift. Really make sure you're staying engaged right in the center, check in with yourself, are you holding your breath? I hope not. Big exhale. Yes. Last one. And relax. Good little stretch. Turn into your mat. We're here. You can either be with the knees, row and rotate or all the way up. Join me. Here we go. Knees or toes. Rotate into it. Remember get full range of motion with that row yes four more four and up three yes two one more and relax stretch it back you guys, I know it looks like we don't have time for a bonus move, but I think we do. Here is what we're gonna do that's gonna be a little bit different. I think you're gonna like it. We're gonna take all of our standing moves. We're gonna put them together, four of each. So come up with your weights, try to go heavy. This is your last thing. Curl and squat for four. Side lunge and row for four. Then you can drop one weight plie, press, and tries for four. That's all we got, guys. All right, four, four, and four. Let's make it good. Grab those weights, stay with me. Curl into squat, here we go. Curl, squat, and up. Curl, last two, it's gonna go by so fast. One more. Side lunge and row, here we go. Down and up, 
down. Guess what? Each side is one. Here we go. Two. All the way through. Here's three. Bring those shoulders, blades in, elbows up. Last one. I know we're tired. Let's make it good. Last one. Drop one dumbbell if you want or keep them both. Four plie, press and tries. Down, up, three more. Three. Last two. One more. And relax. You did it, team. That is it. Whew. That ended up being right about a minute, which is usually what we do for a bonus move. Ha. Ah, shake it out. Ha. Ah, good work, team. I hope you feel strong. I hope you feel energized. I know that was a lot. Those were longer sets. We didn't have timed intervals, so I know sometimes that's stressful when you don't know when the end is coming, <laughs> even if I count it down for you. Woo! Let's take one foot forward, hips back. Stretch it here. Woo! Pull the toe in. You can reach for it here. <sighs> Good. And breathe. Take it here, hips back. Lean into it here. Letting that heart rate come down. Take those toes out. Roll. Thank you guys for hanging with me today, for showing up today for this. Remember, I'm gonna hang out and take some questions. So once we're done here, let's take it here. Hands can be on your legs or a chair or a couch or just pedal your feet here. Ah, try to get that release in your back and slowly roll it up. Let's take those hands forward. Ha! Ah, I would love to know if you guys like this format. As you know, I'm always trying to come up with new ways to new formats new ways to challenge both your bodies and your brains so we're not always doing the same things that we're mixing it up with our exercises and mixing it up with our formats so you have variety our body stays confused and challenged muscle confusion that's a good thing to get across and also keeps our brains from getting bored right take it here and other side take it across Ooh. Shoulder, good, good, oh good, Lainey liked it, awesome. You know what that means, probably next week we'll do a kettlebell version and then a body weight version. That's what I tend to do with these lives. Whoo, breathe, roll it through. Bonnie, stoked to finally make it live in person. Yay, welcome, Elizabeth, whoo. All right guys, one big deep breath in and out you did it thank you for joining me today that was your dumbbell tone and sculpt workout great job everybody Whew. all right team so let's see christy says i have shoulder injuries and find side planks on my elbows a challenge wondering what a good alternative would be so i'm not on my shoulders so are you okay on your hands if you can be on your hands always a good option the other thing to take that pressure off would be to take it to your knees. So you can always do, um, the modifications I give a lot are just to tap back. So here to here, I think, now I can't scroll through, but I don't know if you're talking about side planks or regular planks. Maybe Kurt can bring me my computer. Oh, he did. <laughs> he brought it right here. Sorry, baby. Let's see. Um, side planks is what Christy was talking about. So. Staying on your knees, obviously, if it feels okay in your shoulders to be all the way up on your knees, that's another option. Otherwise, you can take it to all of your standing oblique work. So that windmill that we do, either with the weight high or low, or just a little side knee, any of those are still gonna engage. We do side planks a lot because they're pretty user-friendly and they're such a good exercise for those side abs, for those obliques. 
But if that's too much in your shoulder, try different things. If it's better in your hands or if it's better on your knees, otherwise take it to standing. So, all right guys, I'm gonna scroll through these. Awesome, good, yeah, so just take it to your straight arms. Always an option. Yay, Susie did the transverse plies. Ha! Yes, pretty good, Susie. Susie's been working really hard, but she recently had an arthritis diagnosis, so she's in our athletic club. Yes, Shelly says my brain needs the workout as much as my body. <laughs> it's true, right? Keeping both of them elastic, yes! All right, 20 pound dumbbells for most of it. Awesome, good work, Mel, so strong. Yeah, the transverse plies to the plies. Uh, <laughs> let's see, Jessica, more knee pain exercises. Yeah, so check out all of my low impact. I do, have, I think I really only have one lower body that's no squats and lunges, but actually all of those standing, so check out like standing abs, things like that, will give you options for that. Um, but I should make more, you're exactly right. So the I will get on that. Um, yeah, my arm got tired on the side plank when doing the weight. Yeah, that's, that's normal because you're doing that row. So you, again, you can always drop it to your knees or just do the movement without the weight. Um, let's see what else. Yay, Lainey got a Mother's Day kettlebell. I love it. Jill did her 12s and her 15s. Yay, Naomi, I love getting the pulses out of the way first, right? I know, I thought that might be a welcome change, right? But also just different for the way our muscles are engaging. So, um, <clears throat> yay, let's see. Oh, Christy, it was your first live. Awesome team. Oh, good, Steph thinks it went super quick. Yay. Oh, the starfish move. That's also a good modification for the dead bug or a good one. Yeah, if you guys know, you're just flat on your back doing a starfish. Let's see, Elsa says I was about to rest in one of those sets, but then when you said stay with me, <laughs> oh good, I'm glad it's, it's helpful because I know that I, I talk a lot through the workouts um, and sometimes I'm giving, you know, pep talks and I always say uh, that's also a pep talk for me. I'm reminding myself to say stay with me, but um, I know how that feels. It means I'm feeling it too. I know you're tempted to be like, oh, I want to stop now. And I'm gonna remind you that we are almost there, that you can stay with me, that keep pushing through, that you are strong. So um, good, yay! Kayla used her 10 pounds the whole time her arms were shaking. Have a great weekend, Catherine. Yes, thanks Amanda for coming. Um, let's see, Rocky, am I Canadian? No, <laughs> I am born and raised in the United States. Um, yay, let's see who else. Oh good, Chelsea really felt her core activating TA breath practice, yay! So, so Chelsea is in the athletic club and a lot, April, we did April Absolution, so we spent a lot of time talking about core. If you haven't, check out my TA breathing videos. I have them for pregnancy and postpartum, but they work for everybody. It really helps us engage that core. I also have a workout called Flat Tummy Workout um, that I only titled it that for you to click on it, but um, it does talk through proper breathing techniques, which is everything when it comes to engaging our abs, so check that out. Yay, I'm so glad when you feel good after the workout. Let's see. Yes, Nia is so asking about the lower belly mom pooch postpartum. Yes, so listen, it is all about how you're breathing. It's all about posture. And it is all about deep core and pelvic floor engagement. So what happens a lot is in pregnancy and in postpartum because our muscles get so stretched, our core goes through trauma, and then we go right into taking care of a baby. There is a lot of weakness here just because of that's, that's what happens, but we have to go right into life. So our other muscles compensate. We sometimes get, we call backwards breathing. Our posture gets off. So check out my postnatal core videos. It's gonna talk through all of this. And again, that flat tummy. Make sure that you're engaging your deep core and also that you're checking your alignment and your posture. 
um, because really it's pressure management and it's engagement. So knowing that you're engaging the right muscles, that you're managing the pressure. If we're not breathing right, we're gonna be pushing out, right? So that's where that lower, lower belly pooch is. If we're not standing correctly, and you don't have to have perfect posture all the time, I know that is extremely unrealistic for life, but especially life with kids. Um, but working on that posture, all of those things are gonna help. So check out my postnatal workouts. Um, I'm gonna be making more on this later. All right, guys, since a wet squat is easier on my knee, everybody's a little bit different. Um, I think some people find just a regular squat versus a plie squat where your toes are out. But my, my uh, advice would be to try a few and see what feels better. And if it feels better for you to have your toes turned out every time, then you should do that squat. If you wanna put a chair or a bench behind you and sit every time, that's a better option for you. But everybody's a little bit different. It depends on what you're feeling and where. So let's see. Oh, Denise, sorry, trying to scroll back and find questions. Uh, when doing dead bug, my lower back is cracking. It doesn't hurt, but what am I doing wrong? Listen, if you're getting that popping or that cracking, it's often just little air pockets in our joints. If you're not experiencing pain, it's generally not a problem. Disclaimer, I am not a doctor. So if you have any pain or if it feels uncomfortable, you should definitely talk to a doctor and see a physical therapist. But if it's not painful that our joints sometimes just pop, what I would say is to double check and make sure that you're really engaged and you're pulling that deep core in, theme of the day, right? We keep talking about it. Um, and if you need to take your feet a little higher, that might help as well. But generally popping through our joints <clears throat> is air. Um, and if it's not painful, it is, again, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. It's generally not a problem. So, um, but keep working on your core engagement and that should help. Let's see what else. Awesome, guys. All right. Well, if I missed any questions, let me know. Um, yay, Wendy gets her new BOSU ball tomorrow. And you're going to do, yes, I'm going to make more BOSU workouts. Um, oh, where did I get these shoes? These are Under Armour. They're very old. They're a few years old, but um, I don't wear them very often. But when I do, I remember that I like them. Um, so I don't really know what the style they are, but they are Under Armour. <laughs> And the outfit is TJ Maxx, guys. So I don't really know the brand, but that's obviously where it came from. Um, yay. All right, guys. Thanks, Sarah, for joining. Yes, 32 minutes. It does seem like a short workout, but no, we're going to get it all done. All right, guys. So have a great weekend to all my moms in the group, moms-to-be. Have a great Mother's Day. I hope that you get to rest and relax and do something fun, whether that is with your family or not. <laughs> um, but I know it has been a tough year for everybody, but especially as moms. So I hope everybody has a great day. Um, and I am so grateful for all the moms in the group and for everybody in this group. I know we have a lot of non-parents as well. So all are welcome here. I know I talk a lot about motherhood because that's the phase I'm in, but I love that we have such a diverse group of people from different backgrounds and we have a really great time. If you're wondering about the Body Fit Athletic Club, which we have so many of our clubbers in here, which I love, um, we have a really great time. Most of the activity takes place in a Facebook group. We have weekly and monthly workout calendars. We have a new monthly challenge. So this month is May Muscle Tone and Sculpt. It's not too late to join. If you wanna join us, we have monthly options. We have yearly options. So we're gonna have a big summer challenge coming up as well. Um, I know it's not summer for everybody, but for a lot of us. So we just have a different challenge where we have a different focus and we focus on our workouts with that. We talk about different things for the nutrition. You get access to me, to Vivian, our body fit dietitian. We're in the group. We do live Q and A's where we answer your questions and those all stay up so you can view whenever um, we tackle hot, hot topics. Uh, it's a really great group. So join us if you can. Information is in the description. Otherwise, guys, have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. And our prenatal ebook is very close to being finished. So if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, be on the lookout for that. It is coming very, very soon. It's been a long time in the works, um, but that should be coming very soon. So 
check out my website make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel you guys that helps me out so much it helps me be able to keep making videos for you so hit that subscribe button click the little bell turn on the notifications so you know when new videos are coming out and when live is coming out and then of course follow me at body fit by amy on all my social channels so you never miss anything all right guys have a great weekend i will see you guys soon thank you for joining me